You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Oh, a great show today about obstacles. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. My opening thought when I approach a child, he inspires me in two sentiments, tenderness for what he is and respect for what he may become. Friends, life is now in session. Abraham Lincoln once said, I don't know who my grandfather was, but I am much more concerned to know who his grandson will be. Who you are and the family you build will be the legacy you will give your children. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. Some of the world's most renowned women and men have had to overcome disabilities and adversities that would have crushed a more fragile soul. Like butterflies breaking out of cocoons these great historical figures struggled against and rose above the confines of circumstance in a way that makes their achievements even more remarkable. While hardship alone does not produce genius some might argue that the recipe for true greatness includes a liberal dash of resilience. Sometimes the source of difficulty is medical. A child born to a woman dying of tuberculosis became Marie Curie. Infantile paralysis did not hold back Franklin D. Roosevelt and even the loss of hearing could not diminish the great composer Ludwig van Beethoven. Mm. Social and economic barriers are also real but not insurmountable. A child raised in abject poverty could become another Abraham Lincoln. Being born black in a society filled with racial discrimination did not stop George Washington Carver from realizing his potential Educational barriers will not stop the truly gifted. Think of Albert Einstein. This genius was called a slow learner and retarded. And yet, he lived to disprove them all. Our common folks like you and me seeing stepping stones or stumbling blocks. Let me share. Isn't it strange that princes and kings and clowns that caper in sawdust rings and common folk like you and me are builders for eternity. To each 
is given a book of rules, a block of stone, and a bag of tools. For each must shape, ere time has flown, a stumbling block or a stepping stone. A young man began his studies at a well-known college and was on crutches everywhere he went on campus. He was friendly, gregarious, an optimistic person, and soon he had the respect and friendship of many of his classmates. One day a fellow student asked him what had caused his deformity that necessitated his crutches. Infantile paralysis, he replied. His brief answer sent the message that he did not want to get into any details about his situation. But his classmate wanted further insight, so he inquired. With a misfortune like that, how can you face the world so cheerfully? Oh, he responded with a smile. The disease never touched my heart. Mm. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You're able to say to yourself, I live through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. My closing thought. Someday I hope to enjoy enough of what the world calls success so that somebody will ask me, what's the secret of it? And I shall simply say, I get up when I fall down. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.